so good morning. Another day starts. So we're gonna make some breakfast here. But before we, but as we do this, uh, I notice we have a health crisis in this country. People are overweight. They crave sugar. Uh, they crave caffeine. They crave junk. Uh, what else can I say? I'm frustrated. I can't even spit it out. I'm so frustrated. Right. So as we're making breakfast here, we're gonna discuss some things. Like so. I crave salt and sugar. Uh, people that are in debt are out there spending 50 bucks a day at Starbucks. And, uh, they seem to be tired despite being, uh, in an office all day. When you got me out there all day long, pretty much, uh, with doing physical labor, uh, pretty much riding my bike all day, watching trains, and doing physical labor, like working on power lines and digging holes for a motor road out there. Um... I shouldn't talk when my mouth is full, but I'm going to. And I'll watch my fingers here, too. And so I'm sitting here watching you people get worse and worse. You're tired throughout the entire day. Despite drinking gallons of coffee, which you've now become dependent on, which is pretty much poisoning you. You're drinking so soda. Um, once your energy, your kidneys are failing, uh, medication is doing nothing but giving you side effects and making you worse. Like me, antidepressants, I took those, made me worse. Did that a little more? I'll tell you what, I have lots of them. I was putting real one, I was putting everything. Did nothing but make me worse. I mean, hmm. I hope you're enjoying watching me cut this. I tell you what, when I was in high school, I worked at Boy Scout camp. I worked in the kitchen from about 4 a.m. to like 10 o'clock at night some days. I Plus, state health director was the guy that was my boss. I tell you what, I learned a bunch of good things from him. How to keep the kitchen clean, how to eat right, and basically how to run a business and things like that. I mean, hmm. Alright, so back to the health crisis. We see cancer rates going up, all kinds of things like that. Well, you should know that sugar causes, like, how can I say this? It acts as an accelerant for cancer. If you have like melanoma or something, sugar just makes cancer worse. I mean, if you have cancer, stay away from sugar. Oh, you see this knife here. I tell you what, every time you get a cut in your finger, a little bit of those chemicals of whatever cut you ends up in your bloodstream. And that's what gives you lymphoma and a lot of blood cancer and stuff. Well, on the subject, all, you elect all these electronics, you're on your cell phones and wireless devices all day. I tell you what, you go back and look at cancer rates. When they started putting electricity in homes and radio got bigger and bigger, cancer rates increased. Let I me mean, go look at it. It's like a mirror image. I mean, I don't know if I could say that any better. I mean, I've lost lots of friends people to blood cancer. I remember I've had a few relatives and people die from cancer as they were indulging, like, eating sweets and doing that. It seemed to get worse. I'll tell you what, I had a friend, family friend, uh, they, they got breast cancer. They had an excellent chance to live. A week later, I mean, th they died. But then I had another friend that she had like the worst kind of breast cancer you could have. She lived for 15 years. But the other one who ate down cookies and sweets lost her life in a week when she had an excellent chance of survival. I mean, I don't know. I'll tell you what, Uncle Sam, why can't you ban things like smoking? 
sells people down in those apartments and that. Smoking, they get their paycheck and they go and buy cigarettes, vaping supplies, or they buying crap on Amazon. Getting all those things that are like essential for your life. I mean, I don't think those are essential for your life. I don't think anything is. You see them, oh, look how cheap Amazon is. Why well, say there is another small business? I mean, you see where I'm coming from. I tell you what, I'm sitting under by the PA Turnpike watching trains all day. FedEx, UPS, Amazon Prime, DHL, all day long up down the Turnpike. I tell you what, they should just name the PA Turnpike the Amazon Highway. I mean, I don't think you can say that any better. Mm. Right, so, alright, I had an apple. I'm going to save this one for later. Well, I tell you what, I hope you learned a few things here. I mean, when they say be safe out there, I wish they would really act sound like they mean it. Right, so I maximize edible product while cutting waste. Cutting waste. Yeah. Uh, well, as I could say, there's your coaching for today. I mean, make, make better decisions. I mean, if it's your life, not someone else's, don't go off peer pressure and just do your thing. If it works for you, do it. If it doesn't, don't. And if you see bad things happening, don't do what those people did. Stay away from it. I tell you what, if, you're call if you have a college set, stop going to Spar Starbucks. Dump the coffee, dump the caffeine. Uh, I tell you what, I drink a lot of, I, I mainly drink water and carbohydrates. I mean, I pretty much get about 10 minutes of sleep a night. I'm out there building a railroad, working on utility poles, moving stuff, 10 minutes of sleep a night. I tell you what, I don't drink coffee. I just drink water and eat lots of carbohydrates. I mean, water and carbs will get you uh, enough energy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I tell you what, stay away from caffeine and sugar. I mean, I don't know what else I could say. I mean, I'm proud. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I got educated the way I did. And it was with around the people I was. I mean, there goes the dog to go see my mom because she's eating a cookie back there. Right, so, be safe out there and go live a good life. I'm going to go real loud. Ha. Huh.